Well, the moment's finally here. Tonight, after weeks of rumors and days of anticipation, the public got the very first taste of McDonald's new spin-off restaurant, Cosmix. We sent Germont Terry to Bolingbrook to see if it lived up to the hype. In Bolingbrook off Weber Road, there's a sense of anticipation. A caramel fudge brownie sundae? Yep, that's it. Car after car after car stretched around the parking lot. Here we've been here almost two hours, I would say. Yeah, I'm sorry, how long? Two hours. Yeah, for, how for a chance to try something new. So your total is 4016. McDonald's new franchise, Cosmix, opened to the public for the first time. The first one in the world, and the launch sent Stephen Campbell out to find out what's behind the buzz. What made you say I need to be in this line? The new drinks. I'm trying to get a frappuccino. A frappe and other specialty drinks are behind the Chicago-based corporation's attempt to get deep into the coffee game and more. And with lines this long, those waiting are passing the time any way they can. I see you got the laptop out. Are you in the middle of doing finals and waiting for a restaurant? Yeah, I'm doing finals right now. I'm just trying to do my math homework right now. Yolanda Riggs and her family drove in from Joliet, but after seeing the wait, she attempted to hit the lobby. You have to only do drive through so yep. you tried to come in. Yep. So what's the plan? My husband not gonna wait. <laughs> it's like a hundred cars going from each direction. I mean, the same food they got there today, they'll have it next week. And remember Steven, who was determined to get that new frappe? Uh, in the end, three hours. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. <laughs> Is it worth three hours? A three hour wait? Not three hours. <laughs> and that's the goal of the McDonald's Corporation, to get enough people interested. Now, this Bolingbrook location may be the only restaurant for now, yet in the new year, expect for more Cosmics to pop up across the country. Reporting in Bolingbrook, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.